Hi. Let's learn about Gerer, meaning, definition, Islamic perspective, and examples. Gerer is an Arabic term associated with uncertainty, deception, and risk. It refers to the sale of goods that are not yet present, like crops not yet harvested or fish not yet netted. In Islamic finance, Gerer is used to assess the legitimacy of a risky investment or contract, particularly in cases of short selling, gambling, or the sale of assets of uncertain quality. Gerer is judged based on the level of misunderstanding and uncertainty that exists between parties in sales or financial transactions. In Islamic finance, it is strictly prohibited due to the potential for injustice or deceit. The guidance against Gerer comes from the Quran and the Hadith, which emphasize clarity and fairness in business dealings. In finance, Gerer is observed in derivative transactions like forwards, futures, and options, as well as in short selling and speculation. Islamic finance prohibits most derivative contracts due to the uncertainty involved in future asset delivery. Scholars differentiate between minor and substantial Gerer, and while some practices are vital to economic life, excessive risk and uncertainty combined with one party taking advantage of the other are considered Gerer. Here are four key takeaways. 1. The word Gerer means uncertainty, hazards, or risk. 2. In Islamic finance, Gerer is prohibited because it runs counter to the notion of certainty and openness in business dealings. 3. Gerer can arise when the claim of ownership is unclear or suspicious. 4. Examples of Gerer in modern finance include futures and options contracts, which have dates of delivery in the future. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.